i using the variable color symbol effect along with hue rotation in swift ui we can create smooth highlighting effects like the animation of the ellipses in the previous video i showed you how to create the pulsating animation of the image and the circles for an incoming call in this video we concentrate on the highlighting effect of the ellipses to create a highlighting animation like this we can use a variable color sf symbol a good place to start is to use the sf symbols app on the left navigation we can select the category variable color and look for ellipses the easiest way to search for this is to use the search bar over here so let's select this one on the top right we can click the play icon to preview different kinds of animations for example here it is set to bounce so by clicking the preview we create a bounce animation but what we are looking for is variable color so let's select this one and preview again that creates this nice highlighting effect for our incoming call animation i have already tested this and the one that looks great is to set the style to iterative and then set the inactive layers to reversion So we are going to use this highlighting effect for the incoming call animation. So what we can do here is to click this icon to copy the animation. We have two options. We can copy the code for Swift or Objective-C. Since we are working in Swift UI, let's select Swift and go to Xcode. I have already created this layout, but what we are going to concentrate on is to add the animation to this image, that is the ellipses. To add the variable color animation from the SF Symbols app, we are going to use the Symbol Effect modifier. Then over here, I have the animation copied in the clipboard, so I'm going to paste it. You can see here, we have the same animation from the SF Symbols app. That creates this nice highlighting effect for the incoming call animation. We can enhance this animation further by adding a gradient and animating the gradient using hue rotation. To do that, we need to add a gradient. We can add the gradient using the foreground style modifier. In the parentheses, we need to add the gradient. So let's go to the top right and click the plus icon. Here, I'm going to search for gradient. We can select each one of these gradient and drag it to the code. The one we are looking for is an elliptical gradient, so I'm going to drag this here. Yeah. Let's change the gradient colors. I have already defined this color, pulsing color, so let's use that. I'll press Command C to copy. Then I'm going to add it here. So we change it from blue. Then we use our custom blue color. Then we leave this as green. If you look at the animation closely, you see the green and the blue colors. Next, let's add the hue rotation modifier and animate the angle. Let's add it below the foreground style modifier. We want to animate the angle of rotation. I have already defined this state, it's calling. So let's use it to animate the angle of rotation. I will copy that and paste it here. Let's create the animation using ternary conditional operation, which has two values. So this is our condition. You can see the initial state is set to false. So let's bring a question mark. And the value that comes after the question mark is the true state. Let's set the angle of rotation to zero. When the variable is calling is false, we set the angle of rotation to a value of 300. We still don't see the animation because we haven't added it yet. So over here, I have defined this easing equation. We will add the animation modifier then we use the easing equation I have already defined here. So let's add the animation modifier. For the easing, I will use the one I have already defined. The next parameter is the value parameter. So for the value, we need to use the state variable. So let's paste it here. In order to see our hue rotation animation, we need to add the on appear modifier and set the final animation state. So using the on appear modifier, we play the animation automatically once the view appears. Inside the on appear closure, we can add with animation. Then over here, we use the state we defined. The initial state is set to false. 
So, in the final state, you want to toggle the value. So by combining the variable color symbol effect along with hue rotation in Swift UI, we create this beautiful and smooth highlighting effect. Thanks for watching this video.